This is the BD Splat Gun Gel Blaster. Small and compact, fully automatic, and hopper fed. And this is my review. Unboxing the blaster, you get one gun, three water activated targets, two bottles slash hoppers, a battery, the bottle holder, hopper attachment, 40,000 gel rounds, one pair of goggles, and uh, instructions, and a charging cable. Taking a look at the blaster, it comes in a snow digital camo, white digital camo uh, paint job. On the front you have an orange tip for the muzzle, which is a great choice. Um, on the bottom you have a rail for the battery slash laser slash flashlight, on the, which has three modes, the flashlight, the laser, and both of them on at the same time. So back to the blaster. On the top you have another rail for the hopper attachment and so you can put the hopper on. on and on the bottom like middle back you have the trigger and the handle to hold the blaster. On the bottom of the handle there is the on and off switch. I'll go over how to turn it on and get everything installed in a minute here. So yeah I think that covers it for the overview. Setting your blaster is really easy. The only parts you need are the blaster itself, the battery slash laser slash flashlight, the hopper attachment, and your ammo container or hopper. So to do all of these, first thing I guess we'll start off with the battery. You just take it, slide it on to the rail, it'll automatically line itself up and you push back and it'll click in and connect to the charger and basically this is all you need. And then yeah, you're ready to turn it on and fire from there. To turn on the battery, to turn on the laser and flashlight, you just press this button down here. That'll turn on the flashlight. This will turn on the laser, and then this will be both the laser and the flashlight and off. So three settings. Now for to take it off, you just want to push this down, this little button right here, and pull it off. And then yeah, that's all there is to it. Let's put that back on there. And then for the hopper attachment, you just want to find the arrow on the side and it'll be pointing towards the barrel. So you want that to be pointing towards the barrel when you slide it onto the rail. Let's just push it on until it clicks like that. And then you can attach your ammo hopper. The way I like to do it is because usually, usually you have ammo in the hopper before you load it. I mean, you kind of need to. So what I do is obviously remove the cap. You have the ammo inside. So what you do is you hold it upside down and you... Just twist it on, righty tighty lefty loosey, and you have your hopper and blaster fully ready. Turn on the blaster. You'll want to find the on switch right here and turn it to the right if you're right handed. Or just, yeah, turn it to the right or down. And then that's off. Off. On. And that's how you set up your blaster. Now to prepare the ammo. Before you prep the ammo you might as well plug in the battery so the battery has enough time to charge while the ammo is growing and all that. Now let's prepare the ammo. So I'm going to be quoting the instructions here. To gel ball soaking instructions. Use the 7 to 8 millimeter gel, ball, gel balls. Don't use frozen gel balls. Soak for at least 4 hours to fully expand the size. The water level needs to be above the gel balls. Do not let water enter the gel hopper when loading water beads. Gel balls should be sealed and stored in a cool place out of direct sunlight. So basically you want to take a container, I use the orange gel rounds, pour them into the hopper, fill it up with water, leave it for 4 hours to let them fully absorb the water and grow to the maximum size, and then strain the water with a strainer or something like I have, you can even use, let the water pour through your fingers. And then once you get that, you can load it into your blaster and uh, start blasting. All right, I'm outside with the splat gun. It is pretty dang cold. So I guess you can see how it works in the cold. Might as well get outside shots before it actually does snow. It's supposed to snow tonight, I think. Um, anyways, yeah, got it loaded up. Let's, it's 
already it hasn't it hasn't hasn't actually been um plugged in like it charged the battery it's just charged out of the box but seems to work well so seems to be just fine so we're gonna try and fire these off and get so yeah we're gonna shoot the tree about 40 feet away i would say 30 40 feet so yeah let's just shoot it full auto because that's the only option so yeah So that is the full thing. Works really well for out of the box battery charge. Uh, let's get back inside because it is cold out here. All right, we're gonna test out the uh, goggles real quick. And see if they work. So like point blank range. I assume if it won't work, if it won't work at this range, then it's not gonna, Look at the back, or if it's gonna punch through, it's gonna punch through here. So let's just shoot it real quick. Woo! Bounce back and hit me in my sweatshirt. So, looks like it passes the test. Let's do a few more rounds. Yep. It will stop it from hitting your eye. All right, back inside. It's cold out here. So, down in the basement, have a one of their water activated targets up on the curtain. Just test it out a few feet away. Don't need to be far. But so yeah, let's see if this works. Have some more rounds inside the chamber. Made too many, but that was perfect because now I can do this. So yeah, let's just hit it a few times. Well, as you we were shooting it, you could already see it. Um, working so let's take a look at the target mind the tab oh look at that nice and vibrant colors works really well you can see it actively as you're shooting it which is cool you can see that I hit the bullseye a few times Hit 80, hit all the <laughs> markings, honestly, so they all work. Well, very cool. Same as the last one I reviewed. So, yeah, these works. Come with three for some reason. Two red, one blue. Uh, yeah. So, coming in at a price of $3, this blaster is actually really cool. Um, I mean, it's cheap. It works well. Good build quality. Um, I like how the um, battery is, like, where the battery is situated. It allows you to use the flashlight and laser. And even the laser with the flashlight and have the battery inside and you just plug it in. Comes off easily. Plugs in. Just like that. Honestly, I don't really have any complaints about it. It gives you two, two hoppers, three targets that are reusable, by the way. I discovered that. They'll leave, the where you hit will leave sort of like a coffee stain effect. But it's barely noticeable on the, like, only on the edges. So... It I and a bunch of Joe rounds, so I mean it's really good for value. It's really good and it works well. It's not that accurate because it's full auto, but that's just a given with full auto blasters and something like this. That's again thirty bucks, but it's really good for that price point. So if you're looking for a starter blaster, a really good starter blaster to 
like to get your to get this going or if you just want something to fun to shoot your family with if you want to get a few of them family outing or i don't know really anything just to shoot it it, it works it's phenomenal um comes in at like 28.99 29 bucks 30 bucks whatever so i'm it's good it's good i don't know what to say um so yeah yeah i have no complaints the grip feels very nice felt very nice when i fired it um orange muzzle very good um barely any feeding issues i mean sure it's still gravity fed so it's gonna have most of the issues that most gravity fed blasts have for feeding but other than like other than that i didn't actually experience it either because it's full auto or something else i don't know if they have like something else inside the funnel here or inside the blaster to try and help with the feeding issues but it works it's good link in the description to buy the blaster on amazon i think wherever you can buy it i guess and yeah um thank you for watching the video and have a good day Unboxing the blaster, the blaster includes one gun, three tar- what? Oh, oh.